Good day tourists! Kapi and Kapa no Dios! What are we having today is the perfect time to have our tour. My name is Janine from Oasis Travel and Tours and this is your coach captain, Mr. Ted. Say hello to Mr. Ted! Thank you! But before we proceed, let me first say a few friendly reminders for safety and comfort. So as your tour guide, let me remind you to always smile. So guys, can I see your smile? Beautiful, especially you. Smile. As for secure all your personal belongings and do not leave your bag unattended. Always keep your important thing with you. So smile. For M, make sure you are always in the group. And if you want to go, please can you approach me before doing so. Smile. For I, interact with the locals and their culture. So every time we go to the next destination, you are given a time that you should be able to talk to the people and ask about their culture. So smile! Smile! For L, learn the place, as clean as it is. As famous quotation goes, a culture takes nothing but picture, leaving nothing but footprints. Smile! For E, enjoy the tour. For us to enjoy the tour, we must keep in mind that safety is first and everything must be timed. So guys, synchronize your time. So guys, have you ever been in the home of the winds? Mabuhay! Welcome in Batanes! A brief background about Batanes. Batanes is one of the beautiful provinces found in the Philippines. It's also known as the home of the wind. Batanes is the northernmost and the smallest province in the country. It comprises by 10 ship islands and 3 of it are occupied. Basco is the capital of Batanes. Batanes is home to the Ivatans, who are much admired as a true insulares. The Ivatan tribe is the first settler in the province. They came from Formosa, which is Taiwan today. Batanes is also popular for dried fish, which is the main product of the province. Honey crops such as native fans and hats are products of export quality. Sugar cane or palek is widely sold in the islands. The strong wind blowing along the coastline and the historical marks that can be found in the province is the reason why the area is visited by tourists. The climate in Batanes is cool and windy and the area has a semi-temperate type of weather due to its location. People in Batanes are called Ibatan and they share cultural and linguistic similarities with Taiwanese. The Spanish ancestry also ran in their blood and the Ibatan dialect is different from any other in the Philippines. So to start our tour, let's go to our first destination and your tour guide will be Miss Camille. And guys, don't forget to say hi to Miss Camille and smile. Let's go! Good day tourists, my name is Camille and I will be your guide in our first attraction which is the Basque Lighthouse. The Basque Lighthouse is a lighthouse in Basco Batanes, the northernmost province in the Philippines. Located in 90 hills in Barangay San Antonio, the lush green hills and open sea area provide a beautiful backdrop for the lighthouse. The place can easily be reached by 1.2 km hike from Port of Vasco. It is built in March 2003 on the spot near the old American telegraph facility that the Japanese troops destroyed during the Second World War. The 20 meter high facility has six stories in it, the fifth one being the gallery that offers tourists a 360 degree view of a breathtaking vista of West Philippine Sea, Mount Iraya, and the Vasco town proper. Basco Lighthouse is one of the three active lighthouses suggested by Florencio Abad, a former Basco congressman. Sabtang and Lahatao are the two other lighthouses and all of them are considered as tourist attraction in the province. Make sure to join Basco Lighthouse tour during your trip in Batanes. Tourists can visit the lighthouse anytime but most trip to this attraction happens during the day. You can spend at least 30 minutes on R so you can fully enjoy the site around the area and take note, the entrance is completely free. That's all for our Basco Lighthouse tour. Let's move on to our next attraction to be headed by Miss Tina. Good day tourists, I am Nina and I will be your tour guide for our next destination. 
our next destination is Tamorong Beach, which is also known as Nakabuang Beach. It is famous for its iconic rocky art named Ahau Art and it is made of limestone. It is also called as the famous Batanes symbol. Aside from that, the beach also features a bright white sand and the beautiful green hills. If you're looking for a place to eat, then the Painapanayan Canteen is there to serve you their authentic Ibatan dishes for as low as 700 pesos and it is already good for two persons. Take note that there is no entrance fee and be mindful of your belongings as there are no cottages available inside the beach. Again, I am Nina and I hope you enjoy your stay here at Marong Beach. I will be passing you on to your next tour guide, Miss Sheena. Good day ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sheena and I'm your tour guide for today. I'd like to welcome you all here at the Chava View Deck. Chava View Deck, an area overlooking breathtaking landscape is one of the top tourist attractions here at South Batan Island. This place does not only boast of the majesty views of the West Philippine Sea, it also allows you to see the great beauty of the West Batan Sea. You may also see a step leading down the rocky coast. Going down there is worth it because what awaits below. A panoramic view of the different rock formations and the vast blue sea. Now you have 20 minutes to enjoy the heart melting scenario at this place. So now let's move to our next destination and Mr. Juana Pasco will be your next tour guide. Good day everyone, my name is Roana but you can call me wrong and I will be your tour guide. We are currently on our way to our last attraction, a major landmark of Batanas, Mount Iraya. Towering Basco over at approximately 1,009 meters above sea level, this dormant volcano can be easily seen upon landing at the Batanas airport. Some tourists call it the Shy Mountain of Batanas since even on clear summer days, the mountain summit is always shrouded by the clouds and the view from the top is always foggy, which causes moisture on the upper reaches of Iraya, making the last part of the trail a bit muddy and a bit tricky to navigate. So I'm expecting that you are wearing your comfortable hiking shoes and you also brought your bottled waters. Mount Iraya is home to Batanes Pit Viper, an arboreal snake that is just one of the abundant endemic flora and fauna species in the island. It also houses the spring water from where the main town sources its drinking water. It takes about 3 to 4 hours to ascend and about 3 hours to descend the mountain. A guide will assist you while you are hiking so you don't have to worry about getting in trouble. We are now approaching our destination. Please remain seated and wait until we have come to a complete stop. I hope you enjoy your stay and experience here at Batanas. While we are on our way to the airport, please double check your valuable things. I will be passing around some survey sheets about your tour experience with us. Your comments and suggestions are very much appreciated. If you have any concerns, you may put it down on your paper so that we can take an action accordingly and also we can use it for the betterment of our service. Once again, this is Kuya Ted, our coach captain, and I'm Anna, your tour guide. On behalf of Oasis Travel and Tours, thank you for trusting us. We are looking forward to serve you again. Have a safe flight!